Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about an absolutely fascinating condition called Charles Bonnet syndrome. This condition is essentially when one experiences visual hallucinations and this can range from things such as buildings, such as people, to animals. It classically occurs as part of um, an underlying pathology or eye disease that an individual has. So if you want to learn more about this condition, please stay tuned. The first question to ask is what causes Charles Bonnet syndrome? It is believed that due to a eye pathology that an individual has, this means that the visual part of the brain is being understimulated and therefore as a consequence the brain essentially starts to fill in the gaps and formulate its own images and interpretation of what is potentially being visualized. The hallucinations can be very varied. Some patients may see animals, some patients may see lines and shapes, some patients may see black and white images, others may see people or groups of people. What should be apparent is the fact that Charles Bonnet syndrome is potentially very variable and unique to individuals. Also, the visual hallucinations may last from minutes to potentially hours. Patients may find these visual hallucinations to be potentially confusing if they are trying to actually navigate in their day-to-day -day lives. They may find them to be quite scary and frightening depending on what it is that they are actually perceiving or hallucinating. And also patients may start to worry about whether they are actually, inverted commas, losing their minds. And they may start to worry about whether they are, again, inverted commas, becoming crazy. And that is one of the most devastating aspects of Charles Bonnet syndrome. Such patients already have severe disability through their visual impairment. And then on top of this, they have these visual hallucinations. It is important to stress to these patients that these hallucinations are part of a failing visual system as opposed to a abnormal mental health picture. Unfortunately, there's no cure for Charles Bonnet syndrome and patients need to be carefully counseled and educated about what it is that they are experiencing. With the knowledge and comfort that these visual hallucinations are part of their eye pathology and not an underlying mental health problem, patients can be comforted by this fact and learn to live with the hallucinations. Over time, some patients report that these hallucinations become less frequent or they disappear altogether. Other patients may need to deploy management strategies such as distraction techniques in order to try and eliminate their impact. The single most important thing that patients with Charles Bonnet syndrome can do is communicate. Communicate to both their family and loved ones as well as their healthcare professionals in order to try and help them through these difficult experiences. Thank you for watching this video about Charles Bonnet syndrome. I hope you've learned a bit about what Charles Bonnet syndrome is and how it can affect individuals. If you yourself have Charles Bonnet syndrome or know somebody that does, I would love to hear from you and hear all about your experiences, about the type of visual hallucinations that you experienced and how over time you have learned to manage the hallucinations. As ever, if you have found this video useful, then please do click the like button, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with my latest videos and releases. Thank you so much as ever for your support. I look forward to seeing you the next time. Thank you so much.